the foot pedal stopped working. Uh, in education for about 20 years. Presidential candidate Young spoke on why he's already started the campaign process and about an issue college students can relate to. And so I needed the time to introduce myself. But particularly for young people, I want to say um, the tuition, even at a public university like the University of Iowa, tuition's gone up 250 percent over the last number of years. And it's really immoral what we've done to your generation where we've loaded you up with debt and then after you graduate, um, many people are going to struggle to find secure paths forward. As Democratic nominee hopeful, he explained one of the issues on his platform. What I'm calling the Freedom Dividend, which is to give every American adult between 18 and 64 $1,000 a month, $12,000 a year. Mm -hmm. And so that's the big sort of measure we need to take as a society to help Americans get through this technological and economic transition, but also to improve your lives and, and make it so that you can build a secure future. Young people are a large audience for Young, as Laura Cordell drove two hours to bring her son to hear him speak. My 10-year-old son, who um, even as young as he is, is aware enough about what's going on in our current political climate, and he's concerned. And so I wanted him to see a voice of hope, a, vo a progressive voice, a visionary voice, a proactive voice. Um, and so this is actually the first time seeing Andrew Yang in person, so I was really here hopeful that what I had read about him and what I had seen um, was actually authentic and true, and we're really pleased. Young had one last message to tell Iowans the importance they have in our election process. I need your help to make the case for a new economy that puts humanity first. Uh, so thank you for this opportunity and please do take advantage of your ability to change the course of history because you have it and people in other states do not. From the Iowa Memorial Union, I'm Samantha Ostwick for DITV.